Okay, I want to show you two ways in which you can work on images on your PC and then get them uploaded to Instagram because quite frankly the, the editing tools that come with Instagram are quite poor. You can apply a filter but that's about it and you know it's quite nice to be able to do a little bit more work on your on your photos and then upload them. So there's two ways that I do it. Well in fact there's only one way that I do it but I want to show you two ways. The first way is using this tool here called Bluestacks and Bluestacks is a uh, Android emulator that works on your PC. So you download the software Bluestacks, you open it up and then you get a, a control panel like this and from here you can go in and you can do a search for applications on the Android operating system. So for example if I click on this apps button here I can then go in and I can actually search for Android programs to install and run on my PC through this emulator. Now you can see here I've already installed Instagram and if I click on the Instagram button you can see that it's now preparing Instagram for use and this will then log me into my own Instagram. I mean when you set it up and install it you're going to need to enter in your username and password for Instagram. Okay and here we are in Instagram. Now to get it to work with Windows so you can actually load images that you've got on your hard drive you need to save your images in your Windows photo gallery that's usually in the users folder and then under your name there is um, a folder called pictures and that's where you want to upload your images to. Once you've done that you want to go over to your profile over here and then click on this button take into the settings and then go down to camera settings and make sure that this is unchecked okay? because when it's unchecked then when you click on this central button, camera button, you're given a choice do you want to pick a, uh, an image from the camera or from the photo gallery and the photo gallery as I said looks in your Windows photo um, folder. Now this Bluestacks program is a beta version and when I first installed it it wouldn't read my photo gallery at all and it wouldn't come up with any images at all and it kept telling me there was no images available. After restarting the program um, it did actually start loading them. But you can see here now it's starting to load in the images in my photo gallery and in fact it, it seems to be picking out more than just my photo gallery it seems to be picking out any image folder inside my documents Now the idea here is you just go into whichever folder has the images. I'll just pick one just for the sake of it. Okay, and let me just select that one. Now, as I said, this is beta and I have had problems with it. And one of the problems I've had with it is also in the images. When I put images onto my into my hard drive in that particular folder, the, the Windows Photo Gallery folder, they wouldn't appear once I click on the accept and we get ready to apply a filter then the image doesn't appear it just appears white here and it looks like this one is the exact same is happening again so for me this application doesn't work for some people it does now if it doesn't work for you the way I get my images onto Instagram now is I'll upload my image to Dropbox after I've done the editing in PaintShop Pro and I'm happy with it and then from Dropbox I'll go onto my Android device either my smartphone or my tablet and I'll open the Dropbox on there open the image and then of course the Android allows you to share the image and if you've got Instagram installed on your Android it'll it'll get be one of the options to share so you just say share to Instagram and then that image will open up in Instagram and you can share it that way so that's how I do it from PC save to Dropbox and then open it on my Android and um, share it via Instagram. If you haven't got Dropbox it's free you can have up to 18 gigabytes for free depending on whether you refer other people to the service um, and you can store all of your information on there you can store documents you can store images you can store anything so it really is well worth getting uh, even if you don't want to use Instagram it's fantastic because you can share between devices I upload pretty much everything there that I'm working on and then if I'm in bed or I'm downstairs and I'm, I'm, I've got my tablet downstairs I can actually access all of my documents through Dropbox on my tablet or through my PC or through my Mac or even through my smartphone if I wanted to so that's what I suggest this Bluestacks try it if you want to if it doesn't work like me then get a copy or sign up for the free service of Dropbox and start doing it that way